Hey, welcome back to Good Day. Well, dozens of restaurants and stores, hundreds of apartments, and thousands of jobs are coming to one of the country's hottest new developments, Legacy West in Plano. Victoria Snee, our friend, is uh, one busy marketing director because things real uh, things have been happening. But they open, they open the doors when? When do we really start to see business? You know, really around mid-April, okay. mid to late April is when we're going to see really all of the tenants really opening their doors and welcoming people. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's so exciting because, of course, people have been waiting months and months since this project kicked off. But it really has gone quickly. Yeah, and you see the dozens of construction cranes are up there between the Dallas North Tollway and uh, and the Sam Rayburn Tollway roughly is where we're talking about between uh, North and Legacy. Exactly. A lot of action. Exactly. And you know, it's funny because I think we had a monopoly at one point on all of the cranes between Toyota, yeah. of course Liberty Mutual, Legacy West. It's incredible what is really booming there right now. And just this week, uh, a major corporate relocation, which is going to be really good for the people you represent, which is the restaurants and hotels and all that stuff. Uh, a, lot, a lot of new customers coming. Absolutely. NTT announced that they're going to be coming to the Gattaca Group's new building that's mm -hmm. in that section we're talking about at 121 and the Tollway, the Legacy West area. So, again, just another major corporation making Plano their home. How many people are actually going to be living and work? Do, do you have any idea what this is, the impact is going to be population-wise and, and, and business-wise? It's a huge impact. I mean, in that one corner, that 255 acres, we're going to see anywhere between, you know, 20 to 25,000 people there on a daily basis. Wow. Working, living, shopping, eating. It, it really is kind of building a city within a city. The intent, obviously, in any of these, these kind of urban developments is that you can walk to work and you can walk to the restaurant and you never have to leave the, the friendly confines of the 255 acres. Obviously, a lot of people will. They'll be commuting down the tollway, right. up the tollway, and so forth. I mean, it, uh, is the traffic going to be able, are we going to be able to handle the, the increased traffic? Well, that's why you've seen, you know, even the NTTA really working ahead of the game. I mean, yeah. they're, they've been, you can see as you drive down the tollway how much construction, and that's because they're anticipating such an influx of cars. But like you said, I mean, that's the trend that we're seeing in real estate, are these mixed-use developments mm -hmm. and making it easy for people. I mean, especially millennials. They want to make life easy. They want to live, work, eat, play, shop in one place. And so that's why these types of developments are so popular. This all began decades ago uh, when EDS bought a spot on the prairie somewhere yes. out in Plano and put up that thing that looks like a spaceship out there. <laughs> uh, and, and, and then it took a while for things to take off, but this has just been exploding and certainly the Toyota relocation has to be a major, uh, the phones I'm sure are ringing constantly. Constantly. People want to know where can I work? Where when can I start eating? When can I start shopping? But you're right. I mean, it did start. You know, Femi Carahan developed the shops at Legacy mm -hmm. in 2000. He's heading up this project now. He knows what he's doing, yeah. obviously, and it's just going to be incredible when we open our doors. And a lot of cooperation from the cities, not just Plano, obviously impacting uh, Frisco and, and and other cities in that area as well, and the schools as well. Absolutely. And we're going to be seeing people from all over North yeah. Texas. I mean, you know, having Dean and DeLuca there will be bringing people yep. all over. The and the first big one food in court is going to be amazing, like 20, 25 of the top chefs. That's right. Legacy Hall is yeah. going to be a showstopper. I cannot wait for it to open. We're ready. I know. I know. There will be lines outside. Uh, we've got a link with more information uh, on fox4news.com. Thank you much. Thank so you. So excited.